more than rajmouli the women of his family they were the one who run the valli garu personally i love doing comedies uh, but people mm. think that i am a very tough serious guy great actors were brought us uh, villains so being a villain is a blessing another important another film yeah, like everybody knows is uh, rowdy rathod prabhu dev of course me no sir i think only you can do it please do it that too i was busy in other languages but he made me to do it i am so happy whenever i dub for others uh, my friends used to call me macha we heard the voice so nicely we have dubbed all those things they will say the center character for uh, mm. 101 uh, kamal sir who is the writer of that film he said you don't play villain you don't ever play villain it's about a perverted boss me uh playing around with uh, his uh, staff uh, revathi urvashi and rohini hi nasir ji kaise hain aap yeah i am very fine how are you hmm. i am doing good as well okay. so itni sari films more than 600 films so many great projects uh, uh such like big big recognition as well how do you feel it today uh, what happens when you go on the set what is the atmosphere like you know, the more appreciation you get more praises you get more hmm. uh, it brings more responsibility it hmm. brings a small fear that i have to maintain it i have yeah. to do more the, the best but it's hmm. a nice feeling when somebody appreciates you get uh, recognized it's a nice feeling yeah this Okay, yeah. so in all these years, uh, सबसे ज़्यादा किस एक्टर से आपने सीखा होगा? Like there have been so many amazing, amazing co-actors that you have worked with in your, you know, entire journey. But there must be one or two actors at least जिनसे आपको लगा कि आपने बहुत कुछ सीखा. Who would that be? Uh, to be very frank, uh, of course, when you act with the great actors, we don't. Uh, teach or we don't uh, we assume that we learn from them actually i learned more uh, when i was getting trained as an actor uh, hmm. great teachers like uh, ramanujan sir k gunasekaran sir uh, muttu sami sir they are all from great uh, theater personalities actually there i learned a lot of course when you act with senior actors you know great actors we share uh certain things they try to you know guide you in certain ways uh hmm. so but i have worked with uh, shivaji ganesan sir uh kamla hasan sir and it was hmm. great uh, it is wonderful talking hearing them about their you know life what are the <clears throat> what are the hurdles they crossed uh, to become yeah. what they were uh so it tumbles you down you, your ego is cut off because whatever they have done Uh, i don't hmm. know i can uh, reach uh, to their hip level at least no i cannot so when i when we talk about learning i i really uh, like to thanks my teachers who trained me and yeah of course uh, the senior actors the great actors have guided me in so many other ways yeah so i'll tell you i recently had a chat with faria uh, faria abdullah of course you know you know yeah. her, faria abdul yeah. so uh, she also okay. spoke very highly of you huh? yeah so uh, she also spoke very highly of you and uh, she was all like praises for you okay. and which also reminds me of the jengaburu curse uh, the series that you have been a part of and it's it's about to come out now so i really want to know since this is a very a uh, socially conscious show you know yeah. and uh, it looks like a very serious tone also of the show yeah. so how did you come on board for this i mean what was your reaction uh, when you first heard the you know idea um uh, uh now when uh, uh when uh, mr mukesh the casting director approached and told uh, Uh, this is sony lau uh, sony live uh, production mm-hmm. i was very confident uh, sony yeah. live is known for selecting its content mm-hmm. very carefully yeah. you know it should be meaningful it will be very artistic and uh, and it should be reachable to others uh, uh, that was one reason sony live then uh, uh, i was told uh, mr uh, uh, 
Nila Madhav uh, Panda was directing. He is mm. uh, one of the very important contemporary directors. I have seen one or two films of him. All the films he has shot is uh, socially conscious. It's all issue based. Uh, he doesn't make film only to you know entertain you or make money to get into 100 crores club, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. He wants True. it to get into the hearts of people. So mm -hmm. I thought I will do that. And uh, more than this, the subject, uh, I was told, it really drew me, convinced me to be part of this. Uh, mm -hmm. Because whatever the, uh, this web series is talking about, uh, I, 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 I was very seriously involved. I, whenever, whichever stage I get on, you know, I used to talk about climate change. I talk, I talk about, yeah. you know, pollution free earth and how, why it is very important. Why we are uh, reason for that, all these things. So whatever I was talking, uh, uh when it was offered as a film itself, as a web series itself, mm -hmm. I, it is my responsibility that I have to take it. Uh, of course, yes. I had, uh, I don't know, parallelly, a few Telugu films and Tamil films were going on. But I have to request uh, uh, one producer particularly who understood what I'm doing. Uh, it was postponed and I got into this. And uh, mm -hmm. my choice was uh, right and very... Uh, uh, very right one, I I think. No, no, I, I realized after traveling this, making uh, Jangaburu curse. Mm. Mm. Okay. So this is the first sci-fi thriller and uh, this is a series that a lot of people are actually looking forward to because of its trailer. The trailer looks very, uh, very interesting. Okay. Uh, it looks like a very serious kind of thing and we, we, we are hoping that it would give us some message as well at the end, yes, of course. Yes. What has been the most... A uh, challenging thing for you as an actor when you were working on this project? No, actually, there was no challenge uh, in this. I was hmm. curious how this film was made, and uh, hmm. uh, all all my challenges are met fifty percent by the director itself. The way yeah. he creates, the way he puts in, uh, it's all from his heart, not from not from the brain, because hmm. uh, he believes that. Whatever told in the uh, in the web series, it is his personal thing. He has seen in his own eyes. He has read about it. He has met the people uh, uh, regarding this. So whenever he says, uh, so it all just goes without, uh, you know, it goes, it flows into your heart, you know, yeah. form. So so it is not only about telling your character or the story. It is telling about the whole uh, soul behind this. So it made us uh, very easy for us. Uh, he he avoided all the challenges, made easy easy for us to you know just flow along with it. Now yeah. it was it, it was a great journey. It was a great journey because uh, this is the first time I'm going to Odisha. Odisha is not a regular place like you know Darjeeling yeah. or uh, Kashmir where often mm. we go for film songs. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Odisha is not like that. Mm. Uh, so Odisha, uh, mostly I know through, you know, tourism, you know, promos that uh, it has got yeah. Mark, it has got, uh, you know, that uh, great lake and we talk. And I have seen a documentary on the Ridley Turtles, that's all. I knew very less I should accept. But when I went through, when I went to Odisha, visited Odisha, I realized how what a great state it is. I I'm very proud that it is part of India. I can say real India is living there, you know, because uh, tribals for thousands and thousands of years the tribals have been yeah. in the forest and uh, still tribals. I I was very surprised to know that uh, uh, more than thirty percent of uh, Odisha population is of tribals. Uh, where in, in, in Tamil Nadu or some other place, I don't know, mm -hmm. Tamil Nadu, the tribals have become exhibits. There is only a small pocket. Uh, yeah. You know, maybe they lost their own identity in the in the name of uh, progress or getting modern. But it's nice. Uh, Orissa has retained 33% of tribals uh, with them. 
I I like their uh, art, music, uh, food. They have a wonderful uh, tribal art museum there in uh, Bhuvaneswar. Uh, it's mm. one of the best uh, museums I I saw. Uh, it, it's it's wonderful. It's all uh, wonderful. Um, so uh, it, it was a very big experience. It's not only about doing a very good project. The whole journey mm -hmm. was very interesting and very informative, warm, yeah. meeting the people of Odisha. I haven't, I haven't seen such a calm, content people in any other state. Wow, I think we all, I think, I guess most of us uh, know about Odisha the same way uh, you used to know about it. And now that you've given us a, like a brief idea about what this place is and uh, about the food and about the tribal people and everything, I think this intrigues us more into the, you know, into exploring the same. Uh, but you know what, I guess whoever is watching this interview right now and whoever is watching you and I talking right now, I think in everyone's mind and play ho hai kahi na kahi. I'm pretty sure about that. So I really want to know about the, from, from the man himself today that did you really expect uh, Bahubali to become this huge, like this huge hit? Uh, when you yeah, each and every film uh, we do want it, we want it to be a hit one. And somewhere you feel that you have done the best and you want yeah. it to be really big. Uh, Bahubali, we all expected uh, to be a hit, but uh, mm. it made a history. We want it to be yeah. hit. We know very well it will be liked by people. But it had uh, it it had gone beyond that. It has opened the gates uh, for Indian films, so it can reach globally. So it has done so many so much miracle. Of course, we yeah. want it was a very uh, genuinely made uh, film uh, without any distraction, without any expectation, and it took uh, itself uh, to wherever it is now. It, it mm. is a wonderful experience because. Uh, uh, Rajmavli and his uh, family, they're all involved in the, you know, uh, making the film. I, I always say, I always believe that uh, more than Rajmavli, the women of his family, they were the one who run the, you know, like Valli uh, They all ran the show for Rajmavli. They are all, oh. they are the pillars for Rajmavli, uh, for uh, Bahubali. So it is yeah. the best example how a family can involve to make history. That's how I see yeah. it. Of course, success mm. and, uh, uh, you know, uh, made in millions or trillions or that's uh, different. But this kind mm. of thing, it, it, it teaches you a lot, uh, you know, about life. How women yeah. can be very strong behind this uh, thing. So so it's it's the power of women. That's what I personally feel. Bahubali is. Wow. And Bahubali has definitely become a saga now and uh, everyone is like in awe of that film. The entire franchise, in fact. And uh, most of the people, I'm pretty sure right now are watching us, they they also don't know that you gave a voice in Squid Game as well. So okay. how did that yeah. happen, sir? <laughs> no, Squid Game, uh, they brought me, they brought uh, Actually, I was too busy uh, with the other films. I do, I regularly do uh, dubbing because before I could become a full-time actor, uh, when I never had confidence that I will become an actor, I was concentrating mm. in dubbing. I was a dubbing artist. I was surviving yeah. on uh, dubbing. So even after becoming um, uh, a full-time actor, I never left uh, dubbing because dubbing is, is a craft, it's not by itself. So recently, uh, I dubbed for uh, my great, uh, you know, a hero um, yeah, in Farzi. Uh, uh, Farzi. Yeah, Farzi. Uh, so uh, in Squid Game, when it brought to me... Uh, so I had only three hours uh, given to them. I hmm. I dubbed uh, uh, within three hours. I finished the whole series. But uh, yeah. night I couldn't sleep. Night uh, night I couldn't sleep because somewhere when I recollected the sound and the images, I think something was wrong. Something was wrong. Somewhere I didn't do it properly. But technically hmm. it was all good. 
nobody <laughs> raised uh, no they, they all said okay people who are all involved in making but suddenly i felt in middle of the night that uh, it is not right what i did so i uh, luckily the next day shooting was cancelled i went and told the uh, the director uh, suresh mm. uh tambi uh, can i do it again i said no no sir already we sent it is approved no no i something better can be done then I, again i read up everything i improvised i did i tried uh, voices because uh, the character i did it was very fragile uh, because uh, because i am known for my voice in south particularly tamil yes. and they yeah. wanted my voice i said uh, for this character i shouldn't be talking like that then we we tried so many things and finally we got one thing and it took mm. two days. what i finished in 3 hours it took mm. two days for me to finish that and i am so happy uh, whenever i dub for uh, others uh, uh, whenever i dub for others uh, my friends used to call me macha we hear the voice are nicely you have dubbed all those things they will say mm. but when i said uh, that i have dubbed for uh, uh, squid game uh, they saw uh, they asked me which character you did then i said i did uh, for the for the, uh, the center character uh, mm. for 101 yeah. they never believed that i did it no i know no much i there's no we cannot uh, connect your voice with that then i had to tell them illa only i did did i i did all this technique so it was a uh-huh. great experience doing squid game but has it ever happened with you like previously also with when you did any other film also like you dubbed twice or thrice no uh, i am known for uh, past dubbing uh, hmm. but really in tamil no nowhere i have done uh, like this because almost uh, i use my own voice in yeah for my own friend uh when i dub for other language film uh they want my voice to be here so they want my voice but squid game i didn't do that so mostly hmm. squid game is the only one which i did uh, you know uh, in a different way hmm acha also i read somewhere that you wanted to do comedy is that true yeah you act you ask any actor they would love to do comedy you know uh, personally i love doing comedies uh, but people mm-hmm. think that i am a very tough serious guy so you make him a, a tough inspector or a villain but i would love always to do you know mm-hmm. see when you do very intense character very serious character or a negative character that has an impact on you you know mm-hmm. uh, directly or indirectly in the same way when you do comedy that has then uh, that also has an impact on you which makes you very relaxed you know where you feel you know very light uh, oh, yeah. so i do i love to do comedy i have done chachi charso bees i have done uh, yeah the film called magalir mattum in uh, yeah. uh, tamil uh, so i love comedies but people still uh, shower me with uh, villain roles and tough police <laughs> officer kind of thing but you do so well i mean in all of those villainous roles as well i mean you fit in yeah, so perfectly yeah. first uh, thanks to my teachers uh, they trained me in a proper way they made me a uh, actor whatever i am today and uh, and actually in a way uh, playing uh, uh, playing hero i mean in a way it's boring i think you have the same thing you have to be good you have to be romancing you have the same <laughs> you no know, repeated again where is villain you can go to any extreme you can go. be bad uh, you can be uh, so you have different of shades you know you have black dark gray gray uh, sometimes white like that uh, so it is more interesting it is like uh, and a real performance happens in while you do negative characters so you mm. see, um even in any literature the villains are made stronger than the heroes because the hero is about uh, 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 against whom you are fighting for if you are fighting for a local guy you're not a hero if you are fighting with something big then you become mm. a hero see 
in ramayan they made ravana uh, the great uh, hmm. so any you see all the james bond films great actors were brought as uh, villains so being a villain is a blessing so that's what i think i completely agree on that yeah. villains are always more attractive i feel <laughs> anyway <laughs> if you have to tell me your top 3 favorites from your work till now which ones would those be uh mm. like ultimate favorites i know 600 se upar hai kaam lekin fir bhi okay let us uh, let us uh, put aside all the most popular one bahubali everybody knows so i i'll try to tell hmm. references and, and i i made a film uh, remade a film called uh, uh, druh kal uh, which was made hmm. by um, govin nalani sir i played the role of uh, ashish vidyarthi in tamil it was called kurdi punal still hmm. uh, uh, people in my state they consider that is one of my best uh, it's called kurdi punal uh, that really best uh, no songs hmm. were there no jazzy things were there it was very realistic uh, yeah. and uh, 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 why it is so important when i when i did that uh, film uh, kamal sir who is the writer of that film he said you don't play villain you don't ever play villain from your point of view what you are doing is right for you so from my side whatever i am doing i believe that it's right They don't play yeah. with them, he said. Same thing he said in Tevar Magan also. So that I took it as a cue. I I I believe that I am the hero of the film. I did that, and it really worked out. I kept uh, most of the film. I don't talk. I keep silence, uh, almost dumb. You know, uh, it all worked out. It all worked out in that film. Mm-hmm. That is one. Uh, then. Um, there is a film called magalir mattum uh, hmm. it is only it's called uh, i don't see <laughs> it's a, it's a great comedy i don't know whether it's dubbed in uh, hindi it's about hmm. a perverted boss me uh, playing around with uh, his uh, staff uh, revathi urvashi and rohini uh, uh, see the thing great thing about uh, uh uh the film is it, it it is about a perverted boss and a three of his staff women mm. but yeah none of the scenes none of the dialogue were obscene you can watch with the whole family sit and watch mm. in every frame a very lovely film that uh, that really that made me bigger uh, on those days and i think if it is dubbed in hindi you must really watch it not for my sake it's a really good mm. fun film uh okay. so that one and uh, uh of course tevar magan everybody knows uh, that virasat original uh, then i made a i made a uh, i made a, a film in telugu uh, which is called uh, matrudeva bhava Ma- matrudeva it was it was made uh, originally it was a malayalam film it was made uh, mm. in thing that was made in my earlier stages of uh, film so but even now after that film is re- released uh, uh, say about 25 years back even people now in a corner of Ke- andhra i go they talk about mm, uh, that film yes okay wow okay so now we we got your top 3 favorites and uh, we didn't really think about those earlier mujhe lag raha tha pehle to baubali ho and in hindi i must tell because you have uh, <laughs> of course um, uh, whatever whatever films i have done uh, in hindi uh, they're all very mm. choosy one very good one i did uh, wow. d day d day uh, nice film uh, a lot of a lot of nice film now i have done uh, one great film it is not it out <laughs> it is called uh, uh, max min and meow saki is one of the great film i was part of mm. the another important another film yeah, like everybody knows is uh, rowdy rathod yeah rowdy rathod <laughs> uh, you know <laughs> which i was which i never wanted to do and prabhu deva forced me no sir i think only you can do it please do it 
and then <laughs> uh, that too i was busy in other languages but he made me to do it and that has become <laughs> one of the very popular hindi film in yeah Yeah. yeah and now you're coming up with the jengaburu curse also which is yeah. not a very commercial commercial kind of uh, uh, show which is a very serious a uh, very serious tone and uh, which has a very serious tone of course and which is a very socially conscious uh, project and i think that's the beauty of it and that that's the essence of the show yes uh, and i think tony live abhi tak isi tarah ki cheeze lekar aaya hai uh, jinka kuch na kuch impact society par hua hai agar hum recently kuch projects dekhe so it was they were all like them so definitely looking forward to the jenga buru curse and looking forward to seeing you in that finally after the trailer uh, so all the very best to you sir and please keep doing such amazing and impeccable work thank that you always you. do thank you so much thank and you thank you very much for your time thank you prachit thank you have a nice day have a nice day